Hey guys, Wolfpack and other viewers just want to do a quick video on um, a very unique feature in BMS. Um, it's kind of a follow-up to the uh, uh, pilot model uh, pilot legs, including the Korea map and the uh, TAC and ILS frequencies. So I did this video. It's on the BMS forums. It's also on our, our forums uh, at DCS Wolfpack. It's called uh, Virtual Pilot Korea Map Kneeboard. Here's the... Um, tutorial I'll add that in the link um, so the end product is uh, this okay uh, it basically uses a program called weapon delivery delivery planner which if you don't have you should check it out it's by Falcus awesome job Falcus this is a great tool um, so you're gonna need a few things um, step one is to get the pilot legs mod installed like I said I'll, I'll put a link on the uh, description here follow the instructions very carefully and it um, shouldn't be a problem all right so once you get, this is not going to work unless you have this mod obviously it's with the legs and and it changes these um, these pictures here they're basically uh, DDS files all right so once you get that done go ahead and download weapon delivery planner um, this is the latest version here I think I actually have an older version and this is also made by uh, uh, I'm sorry, I did say Falcon. Falcon. Falcus, I'm sorry. Um, and the third thing you want to do is go ahead and download the um, Falcon BMS Kneeboard Updater, and that's found on Community Mods, uh, Work in Progress, in the Main Topics area of the uh, BMS forms. Okay, so um, this is what they look like. Uh, and essentially it imports a file from Weapon Delivery Planner into, if you remember, this uh, 8019 file, which is this one right here. And uh, the original one that we had was the Korea map along with all the frequencies next to it. And um, this is what it looked like. So very, very useful, just great general tool. You can zoom in, very high definition inside the game. Uh, so to take it a step further, um, let me give credit where credit's due. Juba here uh, just took it a step further and created this awesome little program. All right, so let's say you got pilot legs installed. Let's start with a weapon delivery planner. Uh, I think it takes you through some sort of setup wizard when you start this, but uh, you want to uh, make sure that the directory is pointed at your BMS. Uh, this should auto populate, but it's data, terrain data, theater definition, theater. Um, and then the uh, data card directory uh, should be this weapon delivery planner data cards, wherever you have that. You want to make sure that everything is pointing in the right direction. Okay. Uh, so the first thing you'll do is let's go ahead and go in, into BMS right now and uh, we have a campaign here uh, and the mission that I'll be flying is this bar cap so it's departing at 546 time now is 512 and the package is 4956 that's what you want to uh, keep in mind 4956 so you, uh, you just gotta remember which package you're flying with uh, so once you get that 4956 the bar cap mission you open up uh, weapon delivery planner and you want to go open mission again make sure the settings are correct uh, and then where the campaign missions are stored is in this uh, Falcon data campaign save so if you have an, there's an auto save that saves it automatically if you started a campaign this is the one that I'm using so I'll go ahead and open that and then it's going to ask you for the package number and um, <laughs> I already forgot 4956. It's pretty late. All right, so 4956, and um, we actually don't need BMS anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out. It's doing that Alt Tab freeze. 4956. All right. Okay, so four nine five six. 
put that package in here you go ahead and find it and it'll open it up down here and then it's going to ask you if um, did you save DTC for this flight in BMS um, if no data from the missions use I always click no and it imports data from the mission so I'll click no and then it'll bring up this um, I'm not going to load those backups. Anyway, it'll bring up this um, this uh, page here, data card. It has a little mini map. This actually has your waypoints on it and aligned to displaying your flight plan. Okay, it's got all the information you need. ATIS, which is, uh, you know, I'm a real life pilot and we use uh, automatic terminal information system. And um, RKJK is ICAO code, which is awesome. And it has uh, ILS frequencies, um, winds 3600. Uh, so it's got a lot of vital information. Kusan uh, has TACAN, UHF, VHF, etc. Okay, so here's our package 4956 Lobo 1 is our flight. It's a bar cap. Um, we actually have a TACAN assigned. I mean, it just has all the in information um, all your times, your waypoints, your minimum fuels. Um, and then over here, it has your um, weapon loadout, your maximum gross weight. Um, it even tells you what your rotation speed is and your refusal, refusal speed, at which point you're aboard a takeoff. Uh, military power setting, it's got your tankers and all that. Okay, so very useful information. So once you do that, you want to go ahead and save data card. And it's just going to populate this automatically. Just click OK. And I already saved it, so I won't do it again. But this directory is in this whole, uh, if you look over here, it's in, you know, weapon delivery planner data cards. And it creates this folder for each campaign. So it's very organized. So once you save that, um, don't worry about this. So you save that, it'll save a bunch of files, okay? And then you're done with this. Then go ahead and start um, Kneeboard Updater. And what you want to do is, you can do it from a file, but just do from uh, Weapon Delivery Planner Source. That's this this option right here. Okay, if you have an image already, you can do that. F you can import it from there, but WD WDP Source. It'll just read what you have loaded on here. It'll literally read this um, uh, from here. And I think you might have to save DTC burner I and I. It might be loading it from there. I'm not really sure. Um, so save DTC, uh, save data card, and then um, it, you all you have to do after that, uh, okay, make sure the uh, configuration's set properly. This oh that's what it is WDP setup file. You want to you want to select this um, setup I and I, and then the data cards directory is that default weapon delivery plan data cards area, um, and then of course your your normal Falcon directory. So um, you, you click this WDP source and then go ahead and update and then it'll progress report here and then once that's done just click OK so it's going to do two things first thing it's going to do is uh, save a file to your um, to the kneeboard updater see this 8019 file it's just a JPEG Okay, that and you will just want to make sure everything's right. So, yeah, Lobo one. So that's all good. And then the final check is that you want to go into data, um, terrain data, objects, Korea objects, and it's it's all based on that 8019 folder. Go ahead and click uh, 8019, and that should be updated to what you just loaded and then when you actually go in game that will be I made a uh, backup of my Korea thing here which I suggest you do the same if you ever want to uh, to load that back up again um, when you actually go in game this is the end result and so you have all your information for your uh, flight right on your knee pad what I suggest is that uh, flight lead should probably have um, all these times and uh, TACAN information readily available as well as call signs and the uh, wingman should probably have the uh, Korea map and for any divert options that might be necessary. Anyway, burner out, DCSWolfpack.org. Uh, God bless you guys.